It's Laura Rick of the Paranormal and Ghost Society. We have arrived in Apple Hill. Apple Hill is full of many pumpkin farms, vineyards, ranches, a lot of vineyards. And we're taking a nature trail. It's going to take us from, see everything is labeled, Thimbleberry. But this is, what you see up here is Grandpa's Cellar. They, have a, they deal with a lot of apple desserts and things. And uh, here's a black oak and a big leaf maple. A lot of different trees, and they're starting to change color. It is October, so the orange, yellow, and red should be coming out soon. We may not see many colored leaves, but near my house, near the Carson area, the Carson Pass of the Sierras, there's a lot of trees changing colors. But it's much warmer here than it is other places. And this is wild blackberry. So you know there's a plentiful food supply for beer, but there's also a plentiful food supply for Bigfoot. Since we are only two miles away, Pollock Pines is one of the Bigfoot capitals of the western USA. And so being that there's thousands and thousands of apple trees and and grape vineyards, you know, this, this creature could live for years comfortably eating wild blackberries which grow throughout Apple Hill and other wild berry plants and, 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 and apple trees and a lot of food supply. So it does it has alternatives. This is an incense cedar common in the west slope of the Sierra does well in the shade the woods use for pencils. So the nature trail has everything labeled and like I say it's gonna take us to two other farms one of the farms has a petting zoo, one of them has pumpkins. There's up the road a brewery, which you know I'm going to stop and have a drink because that's what it's all about. It's We don't get paid to do this. We do our research, our EVPs, our, our Bigfoot finds. We do it. It's all volunteer. It's not for fame or fortune. So I'm going to go and I'm going to help myself to a nice brew. And... Uh, it's cool that they label the pallets. It doesn't go that way? It doesn't go this way through the woods? Oh, it's cute. Looks like the path goes that way. It's in pretty good shape. The Goody Gift Shop. The one thing about this place is there's buildings and ranches and parts of the village of Apple Hill that still remain behind from the 1800s. This is Pony Express territory. This is a wagon road. And the Pony Express came through here, you know, he delivered mail using Pony. And Apple Hill is just, it's full of different so historical surprises. Private drive, do not traffic. I guess we'll just follow this. It'll take us to two more big, big name ranches. <laughs> no, this nature trail is supposed to take us through three other orchards, or through the orchards, so. This is not making sense. There's apples on these trees. When there's apples, you find Bigfoot. It's the truth. Mark my words. There's no way to find any footprints in this kind of terrain. This is Lord Rick.